So I'd like you to raise your hand if you ever had an overactive imagination as a kid. Well, I did too. When I was a little girl, I had a wild imagination. In my bed at night, I used to act out stories with my stuffed animals. I didn't care what anyone would think if they heard me. Back then, I was totally free to dream and allow my imagination to run wild. Over the years, futuristic TV shows and books and movies have fueled my own imagination. It's amazing to me that the technologies from futuristic TV shows, books, and, and movies has now become a template for our technology today. Have you ever stopped to think about how our day-to-day -day lives are impacted by technology in the media from the past? As a kid, I loved watching the Jetsons. In this space age cartoon from the 60s, Rosie the robot maid did all of the household cleaning and some of the parenting. Well, I wouldn't want a robot taking care of my son, but I could certainly use one to clean up after him. Today, household cleaning robots are not an impossibility. Take the success of the iRobot Roomba. It literally motors around your house vacuuming. I wouldn't be surprised if people who own a Roomba call it Rosie, or Alice, Hazel, Ruby, maybe even Siri now. The same way that people tend to name their GPS systems or their cars. So you can see. Rosie is no longer an entirely fictional creation. And I don't think we've seen the full impact yet. The Roomba is just the beginning of the reincarnation of Rosie's spirit into our lives. Now, I bet some of you are Star Wars fans. Well, George Lucas is a visionary, and I, like many of you, was drawn to his epic film series. As a kid, I was such a big fan, I even had a Star Wars sleeping bag. I loved C-3PO and R2-D2. And as a kid, watching these movies, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would interact with a robot. Or better yet, that my grade school would offer robotics as part of its curriculum. Think about the last article of clothing or pair of shoes that you bought online. It's highly possible your item was picked, packed, and shipped by a Kiva Systems robot. The imaginative concept of a, of a robot is now part of our everyday world. I have been drawn to fashion for much of my life, and one of my favorite movies is Clueless. I've watched this movie over and over again with my girlfriends. We love the character Cher, played by Alicia Silverstone, and we were obsessed with her closet. It was overflowing with the latest fashions, and it was linked to a computer that categorized every article of clothing and every accessory. We were blown away to think that a computer could coordinate her outfits and show her what she would look like wearing any ensemble. Technology enabled Cher to be organized, creative, stylish, and to have fun with fashion. Today there are companies like Clothia or Garderobe that have created business models that are essentially versions of this computer and its impressive capabilities. Well, I don't have one of those organizing my closet just yet, but it makes me happy to know that soon I could. Isn't it fascinating to think how the dreams of today can become the realities of tomorrow? There could be someone in this room, right here, right now, with the next blockbuster idea. Allow yourselves to daydream from time to time. I find some of my most out-of-the-box ideas come to me when I allow my mind to wander freely with no agenda. Albert Einstein, one of the greatest inventors of all time, was constantly daydreaming. He imagined what it would be like to ride a sunbeam through space, and this vision helped him define his theory of relativity. So let me throw some ideas out there to get your imaginations going. What about a robot personal assistant that not only dressed you to perfection, but also optimized your health? What about a car that runs on sunlight or water? 
Imagine your home keeping itself clean, cozy, and aromatic. Lemon in the morning, lavender at night, all while minimizing energy use. What if you could fly anywhere in the world in one hour? And speaking of flying, I recently had a George Jetson moment Skyping with my son on a flight to San Francisco last month. This luxury, the highest tech dream of the 1964 World's Fair, makes my professional travel so much easier on my family. It's mind-bending for me to think how the Jetsonian dreams of today can transmute to the practical, accessible luxuries of tomorrow. Things that are jaw-dropping amazements to us today will be commonplace conveniences to our kids and sooner than you might think. One of the reasons I love spending time with entrepreneurs is they constantly strive to anticipate what's coming next. Your dreams right here in this room are the future. Thank you very much and keep on dreaming.